So today we're taking a trip to the beach. Why not like, subscribe and tell me the name of your favourite beach in the comments below as we get ready to continue living the dream. What's up guys, Jason Lamley here with episode number 24 of Living the Dream and today as you can see on your screen we're making a lovely trip down to Weymouth, a beach I have spent much time on as a kid. As you can see from the league table, we are currently sitting at the top. We've got a game in hand over Cheltenham, which we're about to play. But this is what you've missed since we played Chesterfield last. We beat Dagenham and Redbridge 3-0 with a brace from Chris Cahill and a goal from Jason Porter with Steve Hardy picking up a knock that luckily he recovered from fairly quickly. We then had a draw 2 all against Barnet. Alex Kirk got sent off and somehow we still managed to come from a goal behind to, well, two goals behind really to level up to a 2 all draw. Not not a bad return, really, and then a 3-2 win against Telford with a brace from Jason Porter, a goal from Max Robson, Larry Lee picking up a knock. Again, just can't get the luck with the injuries at the moment. And then we played Maidenhead, beat them 3-2. Joseph Torrent, Callum Cisse and Max Robson getting on the score sheet, Robert McCormick getting himself sent off. Callum Cisse also picked up his fifth booking, which means he's suspended today. And we've we've also got a bit of an injury crisis going on. Just a small injury crisis, but nothing, you know, nothing will lose much sleep over. Down here you can see Vinny Kayembe is currently out for two months. He's picked up another knock and there's just a whole, a whole litany of players who have got knocks from various places in the squad. So, you know, things to worry about. But let's get into the game and let's see what we can achieve today, shall we? Looking at today's team sheet then, and Alex O'Meara starts in goal with Barton, Kirk, Jones and Halem starting at the back. We've then got Yassine, Hardy, Burnett and Robson in midfield with Torrent and Porter starting up top. Mlenic, Barry, Craig, Emery and Baxter on the bench. Paul Barry is one of the new signings we've made actually. He came to us from Weymouth but he looks like he could be a bit of a tasty prospect. For those of you who are wondering, we didn't pay for him so it all worked out nicely. But let's get into it and let's see if we can get the win because that's what we're all here for right? Yet another win. So my team talk today, we should be winning this one fairly comfortably. That feels like a pretty good shout. They are 23rd in the league after all, though everyone's looking complacent, which is a bit worrying because, OK, they're not doing as well as us, but they're still going to be respected. And they've got the legendary Joe Osler at the back. If anyone has ever seen Oxford City play in the last few years, you know why that boy is a legend. Goal kick then for Weymouth. Benfield puts the ball forward. Hopefully we'll get to this one, but Shields heads it on. Should be easy covering for Nico Jones, who just needs to play this ball out. Good ball over the top. Yassin gets his head on to the end of it, and now Joseph Torrance on the run. Can Joseph Torrance get himself into the box, or get the ball into the box at least? He has. Porter is there. It's found its way into the net, but that was as scrappy as you like. I'm not sure how much he knew about that going away. It's his 14th goal of the season, but I'm not sure how much of that he actually knew anything about, because the cross came over... He kind of got his boot to it, then about six Weymouth players get in, got involved, and it bounced off just about all of them, and went in. I think Benfield probably turned it into his own net, but it's fine. Jason Porter will claim that, add that to his tally, 1-0. Free kick now, Alex Kirk to take it short to Steve Hardy. Steve Hardy goes out wide to the left. It's not going to really get to one of our players. Genesini is the guy that picks it up, but it's been headed back out by Kirk to Yassine. Yassine finds Barton, Barton to Hardy. Hardy should find a ball forward through to Torrent. Joseph Torrent again in a dangerous position. Crosses it in. Jason Porter is there. And Joe Osler, the legendary Joe Osler, has managed to, to prevent it going in. But they've got themselves a free kick now. Torres takes it. Joe Osler gets in there. And Joe Osler, man, so close for the legend. Free kick now with Alex Kirk, who plays it short to Yalcine. Yalcine has plenty of options. Tries to go it alone, but he just eventually flicks it out towards Robson. Santos now on the ball. Ball over the top and Garcia is on the run. Can we get in there? Oh, it's just wide. It's just wide. Alex O'Meara, I think, had it covered, but it's absolutely fine. We've got ourselves a goal kick. Can we build a second goal from here? Alex Kirk picks it up again. Plays it out to Barton. Freddie Barton. I tried to sign him, by the way, and he doesn't want to come on a permanent, which is disappointing. Torrent is through. And that's a very wasteful finish by Torrent with Jason Porter coming in alongside him. And we're going to go highlight to highlight because we're going in for the goal kick for Weymouth. And Burnett heads it on to Porter. Heads in Joseph Torrent. Joseph Torrent, one more go. And Joseph Torrent gets his second of the season. Joseph Torrent looking really good. That's his 12th 
goal of the season. Second of the game is what I meant to say. That's fine. A first of the game. I'll learn to remember English counting and what's happened in the game. I'm just, I'm overexcited, guys. It's going too well. I'm just overexcited. I can't help it. Doing really well here. Really, really well. It's 2 0, though. 2 0, and things looking solid so far. And so that's half time. It is 2 0. All of Weymouth's fancy foreign sounding names couldn't do anything to, to stop us so far. Played well so far, but there's still room for him. No one cares. Nobody cares. S sign of a team talk at Harchester United, unfortunately. Just nobody seems to care. Barton will take a throw in. Goes long. Looking for, I guess, Torrent, but nobody was there. It makes no real difference. And Torres has it now to Hatfield. H Harfield, sorry. To Josler. What can Josler do? Nothing, because Nico Jones is equal to everything. Robson loses the ball, but Porter has picked it up. Torrent. Torrent gets kicked in the shins by Ndidi, and now Obi heads it to Garcia. They're going to look like they're going to build here, aren't they? Santos to Obi. Back to Santos. Remember, we cannot keep clean sheets. We are incapable of keeping clean sheets at the moment. Hardy has picked up the ball. Tries to play in Torrent, but it goes back to Hardy. Has a pop. Has another chance to go. Oh, it's just... Benfield makes the save and Steve Hardy will take the corner and Steve Hardy is very effective from a set piece what can he do ball to Barton back to Hardy ball into the box but it's going to be offside because there's no way Hardy got back onside that quickly that's not how running works goal kick now for Weymouth Benfield to take it can we put this back up the field we can Yelseen heads it to Torrent Joseph Torrent is through Joseph Tor Benfield makes the save. Joseph Torrent looks like he really just wants to grab a hat full of goals. He's not happy about being behind Porter in the scoring charts. Hardy with the corner. Barton plays it back to him and that was utterly pointless. I don't know why the players don't understand that routine. You always leave a man offside. Free kick now for Weymouth on the hour mark. Shields is going to be the man taking it. Puts it into the or I thought he was going to put it into the box. He doesn't. Plays it short to Obi. Torres has a pop. Sergio Torres, who must be about 110 by now. I've been playing for Crawley about a decade and a half ago. Throw in now with Barton. Freddie Barton can do some damage with a throw, and we've seen that before. Goes long looking for Jason Porter. Can't get his head in it. Josler is there, and Burnett picks it up to Halem. Tekla Halem to Porter. Plays it in, and Max Robson gets himself a goal. 3 0, his fifth of the season. Max Robson was kind of thinking about taking him off, I'm not going to lie, but then every time I think about taking Max Robson off, he scores a goal. I should just think about taking him off all the time and he'd score hundreds of goals. But there we go, Porter lays it off, Robson gets his toe in, puts it away, beautiful finish, and the man can get a few more minutes of game time, that's for sure. And we've got ourselves a corner, well, sorry, Weymouth have got a corner, deep into injury time, and I told you we couldn't keep a clean sheet, Danny Mills has headed it away. It's never going to happen. I was hoping the story was going to be that we've sent Paul Barry on and he's scored against his old club. It wasn't to be. What's actually happened is we've conceded a goal. We've got to sort this defence out. I don't know what to do about this defence. It's driving me absolutely potty. We should be coming up to the full-time whistle, however. And there we go. That is the end of the game. We have won 3-1. It's a pretty solid result. Joseph Torrent, the best man on the pitch. We're going to go into the dressing room, we're going to say a good win, boys, well done, because that always does the job. And we're going to work out in just a second where we're coming back for the next episode, because I don't know if the cup's been drawn yet. So, looking at the schedule, we don't know who we've got in the fourth round of the FA Cup. If it's someone that seems exciting, I'll come back for it. If it's not someone that's exciting, we're going to come back for the Wrexham game, because it'll be either or. So either join me for the FA Cup fourth qualifying round or the Wrexham game in the next episode. Also, big news in the inbox gone 12 unbeaten 12 unbeaten in the vanarama national league in our first season in it to leave us top what a result what an unexpected turn of events but it's a good time to wrap the episode up so you can find me on the socials below on twitter instagram and patreon at chasing lamely like and subscribe because liking and subscribing is good for your soul and also you know we're winning so enjoy the ride Magic Graphic will appear there because Magic Graphic is what makes the whole world exciting. And until next time, guys, I've been Chasing Lamely. Thank you much for watching, and I'll see you all very soon. Have a good one.